Hey, welcome to the Martial Arts Business Academy. Great to have you with us. My name is John Hine. Quite often I get asked by clients, can you teach us some techniques for increasing our number of people who visit our site, the number of people who do our free lessons, the number of people who inquire. And there are masses of things that you can do, which we're going to cover over the, the, the next few weeks. You can do very simply and straightforward to actually increase the numbers of people, not only turning up at your school, but also the number of people who actually sign up and those who stay, which is just as important. But what I want to talk about today is something I think is even more important, and that's your mindset. Have you ever thought about people like Richard Branson, Donald Trump? Why is it they make billions and billions of dollars and have really successful businesses? Whereas the majority of people actually don't do so well or actually even go out of business. What's the difference? There's got to be a difference. And it's not because they're any smarter than you or I. And it's not because they've got a lot more money because at one time they didn't have. So it's the way they think about what they do. And so that's what we're going to cover today about your mindset, about acting, when you get an idea. I used to belong to a very advanced mentoring group, uh, a, a sort of master class that I trained at to learn how to become a really good marketeer and a businessman. Even though I already run a successful business, there are always people who are more successful than you that can actually teach you a few things. And in this particular group, there were, there were nine of us and we worked with a multiple a multi-million dollar entrepreneur who just simply turned out one amazing business after another and we actually learned from him it was a very expensive very high-end uh, opportunity but it worked really well because he was going to show you firsthand how he does things and is all you had to do was follow along with what he did so he did and he was an incredibly hard taskmaster you know, you know if you if you didn't do what you said you were going to do the week before, then he took you to task. And he can make you look feel really, really bad <laughs> you hadn't succeeded that week. But that's what we were there for. He was there to be hard on us, to, be, to make sure we actually followed in his footsteps. And one day we'd had a really hard morning because the first hour was about us being interrogated on what we'd done that week and whether we'd achieved our targets and our goals. And... It came to lunchtime and he said, okay guys, it's, um, if, you, if you nine of you want to go downstairs and have some lunch on me, I'll be down quite soon. So we went downstairs into the, uh, the Italian restaurant below his, his offices. And we're sitting there, we're talking to each other, having a really great lunch. And we're talking to each other about our projects and what we've done and what we couldn't do. And how we could probably cooperate with each other to make both our businesses work even better. And he never turned up for lunch, and that's strange. He, he normally comes to lunch with us so we can all keep on discussing what we're doing. So we finished our lunch, we went upstairs, and we all sat down. He looked at us with a huge, satisfied grin on his face, and he said, while you lot have been enjoying in, in lunch, I've actually launched a whole new program. I've contacted my 3,000 members of that particular uh, email list he had, to tell them this whole new program had started and he'd already set aside another several hundred million dollars he was going to earn from running this new program. And when you're with someone like that who actually does what he says he's going to do and actually earns his living by being a great businessman, you've really got to take that as a really lesson hard learn. And that's that when you have an idea, you have to act on it now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. Everything is now. So if you've got a great idea, you've done your due, your due diligence, you're pretty sure that this is going to work, then act on it. Act on it now. And that's what I do. Every day has targets and goals that have to be met. But all these targets and goals are coming from my intuition. Things that are telling me from inside, these are the things you should be doing. 
to set a goal without coming from the inside usually ends up in a lot of hard work and not actually achieving anything. So I used to sit right next door to my mentor. So I always got the brunt of it when he decided to take you apart because you, you hadn't done what you said you were going to do. But it really had a big impact on me. You have to do it now. When you've got a great idea, when you've done your due diligence, when you're pretty sure it's going to work, then do it. Maybe it won't work, but so long as you limit the downside and you increase your upside, that's what you should be doing. Okay, that's this for this week. Now that is a really major thing that you ought to learn. It's about the mindset that drives what you do, that gets you to actually achieving your goals and being where you want to be. This is me, John Hines, signing off. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to give, drop us a line, drop us an email, tell us what you want, and we'll try and give it to you. In fact, we will give it to you. Have a great week. Take care of yourself, guys and girls. John signing off. Bye.